Hey guys, Flying Dutchie here. Welcome back to our Dutch Kangaskhan achievement run as Mongolia or the Mongol Horde. Yeah, Ming broke the alliance. I mean, uh, they broke the royal marriage. So, and they are now hostile to it, to my, to me. So yeah, could go wrong, you know. And uh, for now, we are just waiting to declare on this guy here. And the truce is over in 1470. In the meantime, well actually we should try to get the Timurids as an ally. Yeah, let's do it. The Timurids could help us against the Uzbek. So there we go. That's an alliance and give a royal marriage as well. Yeah. That alliance will stay for a bit longer. And uh, uh, which one can we rival? Oh no, I'm not going to do that. I would love to ally both of these guys, but that is going to be hard, I think. But we are going to try it. The cores are coming in. Of course, there are still 15. Come as full relations with us, so we should try to get it. No, we cannot do it. Okay. I cannot ally you. Then I will ally this one. There we go. Keep converting. And keep claiming from this guy. We could take Korea, but Korea is allied with Ming. And I don't want to bother Ming. Still hoping that he is going to explode or something. You never know, it could happen. What idea would you pick? I still have no clue. I really don't know. I have no idea. I should not go for a, for a military one, because I want to keep up in the military tech. So an administrative one or a diplomatic one. Maybe I should go for humanist. Don't you think so? Yeah, Edwin is saying humanist as well. Yeah, okay, it will be uh, humanist. I agree. Go for esp espionage, steal tax. Uh, I will Drake, and not only to uh, steal tax, but to... Uh, Get a policy that makes our cavalry stronger. And you can get a total of 40% uh, cavalry combat ability. And then we are unbeatable. Then our cavalry is so strong. They cannot do anything to us. So you won't ally right? No, no, no. Now you don't want to ally because I allied Na Nepal. And uh, let's keep you happy. Um, lose the prestige. I don't want to lose. Yes, 40% and we are a horde. So that is going to be insane. Oh, lol. He is one year old now. That's really weird. Let's 
go to speed 5. We don't have to do... We, we can't do anything right now. Don't want to fight the Uzbek. I want to regain manpower and go for this guy. Truth of High C is over in 1480, so that is taking a while. Oh, this piece is too long. I demand a war. It will come very soon. Oh, what is this? Yeah, because we have a missionary there. Maybe I should uh, retreat my missionary so we don't get a revolt. Ming declared war on this guy. No! No! It's mine! Damn you, Ming. You can almost declare war. Come on! There's the capital. Oh shit, it's here. Shit. And Korea is seizing it already. Damn it! There goes our territory. And let's try to convert again. It's only 20% now. I don't think Korea is going to leave the siege. They have a very small army. But the thing is, if we take all of this, then Ming can only take those two provinces. And let's try to do that. Actually, we should try to snap this one. Then you cannot take anything. There you go. You go there. Wait. Wait. You go here, and you will split in two. Ooh, we have to watch out for that one. Let's send another cavalry to this province. Ah, damn it, Ming! Damn it! Okay, come back. There goes their army. And we will have a very big coastline. Hey, they own this province as well, I think. Kamchatka or something. We can go, to, we can go there as well. Maybe we can finally get some boats. Maybe we can get our food world in uh, Japan or something. That would be very funny. Go. Can I see the siege progress? Oh yeah, 35%. We are attacking the enemy. We are not flanking them. <laughs> Cold Rake, yes you are right. <laughs> what am I thinking, right? We should not go to the sea. They can't swim. They can only ride horses.
Oh man, we have so much money. We cannot go here because he has a boat. Damn it. The boat is not going away, trust me. Oh wait. I could recruit boats already. Why why did I not recruit boats? What the hell? I could build them already. I forgot that I had a port here. This boat won't go away. So the next target will be this one. Let's claim all your things. And then it's time to face the Uzbek. Uh, Pyro, I will not tell anything about that because uh, there are people watching who might did not see the, all the videos. So please don't say that. Yeah, Ming took all of this. Damn it, Ming. And yes, nuclear. This is uh, a new campaign with the Cossacks. Can we take that province? No. Oh wait, I can take it. Nice, we can full annex this guy. Uh, this will... Oh, I don't care. And let's see. We can take it, So, and we can take some money. Always do that. Bye bye. Bloop. And bloop. Let's kill those rebels and let's raise all the provinces. Uh, so we will gain 25, 25, 0. No, also 25. Okay, yeah. Because it's not, it's not, uh, it's 2, not 1. So there we go. All 25, yes. Uh, this could be 50. Yeah, 50, 50, 25. That is a lot of raising. Whoa, that was really nice. It's a lot of power. That we gained. <laughs> yes, nuclear. Oh, and look at this. Our force limit is 21 now. Oh, that is so good. Oh, yeah. Hey, why I cannot do this? What? What is this? I don't get it. Actually, we should build boats in these provinces. Oh no, we cannot do it yet. We need to make them in the core. Why I cannot raise the autonomy here? Can someone explain this to me? Why I cannot raise the autonomy here? What the hell? The maximum value is zero. Also this one I cannot uh, uh, raise the autonomy. I don't understand it. Why it is zero here? What is going on in this province? I think it's a bug guys. I can't uh, 
Yeah, let, let a month stick, yeah. Let's see. There we go. Now we can do it. That was weird. Oh, and our estates need more provinces, so we should uh, give them some more. Um, you know, just give them something where we have some manpower. Like this one. Go tribes. Not enough. And this one, maybe? Yeah. Now they have more than 33%. 57. If we make this 60, then they get then our cavalry cost will be minus 20%. So let's do this. Let's give this one uh, tribes as well. Need to do another one. Oh, one more. Come on. Yeah, now we have minus 20% because we have 60 uh, influence. What is this? Lose horde unity or no, lose the horde unity. Not going to lose admin power. It's a bug, Edwin. Yeah, I saw it. And Kisil, good night. Okay, we have a free diplomat. Um, let's see. No. Yeah, we need to border this uh, this land if we want to get a uh, a casus belli. But we can fabricate a claim. So we could go and eat uh, Japan if we want to. Should be a good thing to do. But we are going to focus on Uzbek first, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Let's move our army there. Go here. We have more force more supply limit. So our combat width is now 22. And our force limit is 17. We should have let's see. I think one more cavalry and one more infantry. So we have a lot of cavalry on the flanks. And we do some damage in the fire phase. But uh, I'm very happy we have a good start here. I really, really like it. Can you build only Cav army? Uh, yes, Titonix, I can. I can do that. But I use some infantry to have uh, a bit of damage in, this, in the fire phase. Otherwise, we don't do any damage. Just a little bit. We will have a lot of cavalry. How is the trade power? Yeah, we still don't own this one, right? No, we need to beat the high sea. That's going to take a while. Wait, China had nobles. I thought only Europe had rebels. Event bug. <laughs> Let's hope they will explode. Would be very funny. We can take Diplotech 5. More trade efficiency, more trade range, yes please. It's more income. We are making almost 7 trade. It's really, really nice. We have a very good start to this campaign. After 2 tries, the third try is better. 
You can only build cavalry army. Okay, maybe I will go there at some point then. But yeah, the, when, we, when we take tech 6, the infantry will get better. Maybe we should just have some infantry. No. Uh, infantry is the only unit that do, does damage in the fire phase right now. So, I just want some of it. Of course, cavalry is better. But this is also something. So we should do uh, like 80% cavalry, 20% infantry or something. And I would love to have an army of uh, 22 regiments, because then we are unbeatable. It should be 6 infantry and 16 cavalry. You should call this campaign the Mongol Take Back campaign. <laughs> that would also be nice. Nah, I will call it the Dutch Genghis Khan. Because someone uh, told me to uh, call it like that, so, and I said, yeah, why not? I like it. We are going to get the borders back of the Mongol Empire. We almost have our first boat, guys. The Mongolians are recruiting a uh, boat in this uh, port here. It's very snowy. Look. Also, also the trees are very snowy. It's winter. It's winter in Mongolia. Oh, you finished the Dar al-Islam, young lord. Did you did it with the Ottomans? It's a nice achievement. <laughs> there it is, guys. There it comes. Sir Genghis Khan, I would inform you that we have our first boat. But I can't swim. We don't care. Go on the boat. Ooh, I'm afraid that I'm going to sink. No, you're going to the sea. What can we do with you? You can protect trade in the gear and trade node. Do we want that? Yes, we do. We want to transfer trade from this one, except from Beijing. And it will go to Beijing. Yeah, we are now putting out 5.26. Let's see how much it will be next month. It's an improvement. Are we making more trade? I did not pay attention. Damn it. I think so. Let's keep it like this, you know. We will get more trade in this node. And we have more light ships, so... Let's build more light ships here. And when the cores are in, we can build more. What tech are you as Uzbek, military-wise? You are tech 5 as well. Hmm, interesting. But I will get tech 6 earlier. Is our baby growing up? Yes, he is. And he has 5 military power. It's also really, really nice. And we don't care about the claim. We, re we really don't care about it. We have no legitimacy. Oh! Nepal is going to die. 
Uh, yes, Titonix, I'm playing in Iron Man mode because otherwise I cannot take achievements. I want to do the, uh, let's see, the region map mode. I am doing the Great Khan achievement, that is the biggest one of all five I want to complete. We need to own all of the Chinese region, all of the Russian region and all of the Persian region. So we are going to take all of this, like the Mongols did. Alright, that is the end of the episode, so thanks for watching everyone, um, give your like and subscribe, and give your comments, I will read them, and I will hopefully see you in the next streaming session or in the next part. Bye bye.